This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a really cool cinematic title animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's create a new composition. Let's call it cinematic title. And I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration uh, set it 5 seconds long. Then click on OK. Okay, let's create a text. So right click new then click on text and I am using Poppins font. You can download this font from link in the description box below. Okay, let's type in cinematic. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now make it center. Okay, now import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Okay, now select this gold texture layer, then place it into this timeline. Then press S and make it a little bit smaller, something like this. And then go to effect and preset window and search for curves. Now select this effect and apply onto this um, texture layer. Then change the RGB curves to something like this. Okay, now change the layer track mat to alpha mat. Perfect, looks good to me. Now select these two layer, then right click, then choose pre compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to text to one. Then click on OK. Now create a first uh, uh, turn off visibility of this layer. Now create another text, so right click new, then click on text and type your second text I type in title let's make it bigger now make it center again go to project window and select this cold texture layer then place it into this timeline then press S and make it smaller then add curves on this layer change the RGB curves to something like this and then change the layer mode to alpha mat. Now select these two layer, then right click, then choose pre compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to text 2. Then click on OK. Now turn on visibility of this layer. OK, now uh, adjust the position. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Design better projects faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects. Create more with premium design assets video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inverto Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inverto Elements and start creating today. Perfect. Ok, now select this two layer, then press P on your keyboard, then set a keyframe on position, 
then drag the keyframe around 14 frames now go to beginning of this animation then select text 1 then move it to the left side something like this then select text 2 and move it to the right side something like this now select all keyframes then press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this okay now turn on motion blur perfect now select this two layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to main then click on ok okay now go to effect and preset window and search for transform now select this effect and apply onto this layer now change the um, skew amount to minus 11 perfect now press s on your keyboard then set a keyframe on scale then go forward few frames and then increase the scale amount to 110 or 11 maybe 110 now select this to keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve perfect okay now go to effect and preset window and search for cc pixel poly now select this effect and apply onto this layer and then start time set it 1.0 1.10 now 4 set it 4 gravity set it 0 and spinning set it uh, uh, 19 degree and then direction set it uh, maybe 15 and then speed randomness set it uh, 90 and then grid spacing set it 20 okay let's add uh, marks around the text so select this layer then go to toolbar and select pen tool and create a mask something like this now press m on your keyboard then change the marks one mode to none then create another mask and then change the marks one mode to add Okay, now select this layer then press ctrl plus d now select the second layer then press m and then change the marks mode to subtract and then go to effect and uh, effect control panel then delete the cc pixel poly effect now select this layer then press mm and then marks expansion set it minus one and do same with this layer perfect looks good to me okay let's add optical flares now place it into this timeline then change the layer mode to add and then press w on your keyboard and then rotate something like this and then change the position perfect okay let's add our background so select this uh, background and place it into this timeline let's adjust the position a little bit
our animation is complete press 0 to ramp view this thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day and i will see you in the next video till then peace out